It's opening day of muzzleloader here in Idaho for a cow tag. And I hunted really hard. I was real selective for a big bull this year. And I kind of told myself if it wasn't one I was going to be happy with, I would just shoot a cow later on for meat. Chase some big bulls this year. And uh, just couldn't connect with a bow. And so now it's a meat hunt. Got the traditional muzzleloader all loaded up. And I've got some elk spotted over here. My wind's blowing down though, so I'm trying to see where they're going. And... It's just not great set up the way the wind's blowing, so I might just watch them, but we'll see. All right, I watched them. I actually went over there to get ahead of them. My wind wasn't good, so I came back here. And I've got them bedded over there. They're in a pretty good spot for a stock as long as the wind stays consistent. I did see a cow along the way about 100 yards, but it was in the brush and it wasn't broadside. It wasn't an ideal shot for a muzzleloader. So I'm going to wait for that. Just watch another one bed. So I'm going to let them get calm, take my time, get over there. get the Make sure the wind's right and I'm just going to sneak over that ridge and hopefully pop a cow. I got the elk bedded there center screen. I'm going to get to this little opening center screen. So right here, I have eyes on the cow that I'm after. She's bedded in that little opening at about 100 yards. That's my max comfort range with an open sight muzzleloader. And I'm just trying to belly crawl in and stay low and get to the top of this little ridge right here so I have a clear view and a clear shot. Ready to go for round two. She left the herd. Very little blood, but I got her singled out. I'm just tracking now. Been tracking this elk for about four hours. And as long as I can stay on a track, I don't give up. But it's not looking very good. She did single off by herself, but not bleeding anymore. Just occasionally she'll rub a little bit of blood on the side of a bush. She's going in at them sick, some thick stuff. Hoping to find her bedded soon. Got the old muzzle loader loaded up.
tough. Got my elk for the year, 2022. Super excited, super grateful. I started hunting elk when I was 13 and I'm 35 now. I have hunted elk for 22 years. And most of you know, I had a pretty impressive track record going for 20 years straight. I was able to harvest a six by six bull on public land and six by six or bigger. If I drew a good unit, I just would go for the biggest bull that I could find in the unit and ate my tag two years ago and had to take advantage of this late cow muzzleloader to get my elk for the year. And then um, this year I did the same thing. I drew a, a special tag. It was just too selective. There was a couple bulls I just really had my sights set on in archery season and couldn't seal the deal. One big seven by eight. Had some close calls <laughs> and bulls got away. Took advantage of this late muzzleloader season again. So now I've killed an elk every year since I was 13. Two cows, the rest big bulls. But uh, I'm just so, so thankful to have an elk down when you work this hard for an animal. I spent so much time this year trying to get an elk. It's just, I'm so relieved and my wife, kids, and I just devour elk meat. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with this cow. Get her home. I can get it out whole. Um, I can get a four-wheeler not too far from here. And get some help and get it out whole. And uh, I'm going to cook up the ribs and everything. Um, and just butcher it like you would a domestic cow. And normally, I don't have that kind of uh, elk story. So they're normally a six-mile pack or something crazy. But this one's going to be great. There's a road about 200 yards from here. So as we continue to give you free content to watch, all we ask in return is to give us a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay updated on our newest hunting episodes. Thank you for watching.